Well, so here we go. I've got my uh, Weller 260 stroke 200 watt soldering iron here. These are made by Paul Weller on his days off when he's not going underground. And I'm going to put a little bit of uh, plumbing flux on here to give this a start. Now, even though we're going to use um, electronic solder because it melts at a lower temperature and it, this is pre-fluxed but just to give it a head start so let's see what this will do I'm doing it with an iron rather than with a how do we say with a bare flame with a naked flame because <coughs> we can actually melt well we can damage the cable overheat it there you go you see Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if we can get that to work. I would like a bit more in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, there you go. How deep is it gone? I don't know. How deep is your love? Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Now the thing is, <coughs> will it go back into the housing? I think I might have to dress this up a little bit so and clean off the flux. I'm going to take it across to the sink and wash this off and then we'll come back and have a look. Well, quite surprising results really. I used my uh, little disc cutter to cut the groove in here. I've also got a little, you know, file just to finish it off a bit. It doesn't seem too bad at all. I, I might even surprise myself, you know. It does happen. Let's push this in here. Right, and see if it goes in. There you go. It's in. It works. Is it going to be good enough, though? Ah, well, this is the question. You see, where am I? I'm up here. We don't know. But I'm going to fit that one, I'll fit this one probably as an experiment to a truck that has got a completely buggered one and see how long that will last. Um, it could be an interesting thing, but as you can see, the genuine ones were a little, they had the edge. It depends on if you want to mess about with them too much. I mean, I would now, seeing, seeing as that worked, I would always solder them in. Problem is, I haven't got any sort of real way of putting any force on that to test it to see how long it would last. If you recall, I soldered up the uh, pull, the bonnet pull, of this cheap £3 Britpart cable. So I thought, well, since there's not much to do this afternoon, why not test it? How much can we hang off here before it breaks? Now, what's going to happen first? Is it going to be the handle break? Or is it going to be the solder? Now this is uh, this is a real ramshackle thing, but on my ceiling I have a hook because there's an RSJ runs right across the top of the building. So using my trusty bathroom scale here, I'm going to put some different items on here, weigh them, and then see what the breaking point is. Now I've not. I've, I, I honestly I haven't tried this before, so it's a an experiment it might turn out rubbish but let's give it a go now I have got some bad lighting at the moment because uh, one of my little square lights has gone and I've got a starter for it somewhere I can't bloody find it what a surprise right let's start with this experiment the first thing to go on is a Land Rover Series 2A transfer case housing in aluminium and that comes in at six kilos all right, so let's find out where our hook is. There it is. Now let's put this on. I'm going to use a little bungee. No cheating. Go through there. Come to here. I bet this is going to stretch like hell. Six kilos. No problem. So. We need something a bit heavier. I've now got my uh, 
heavy duty impact one inch drive. Oh no, this is my <coughs> pulling set. This is 10 kilos. Ooh. Ten kilos, great success. I think I'm going to have to shorten me, me wire a bit. Next, we have a car battery. That is fifteen kilos, or thirty-five pounds in old money. Now I've shortened up the uh, lead a little bit. Let's get it on, as Marvin Gaye used to say. <laughs> and we. Now this is going to be fun. Come on. Just a second. Get the hook in. Ah, damn it. Come on. There we go. Taking up the slack. Handle in the middle. One car battery, 15 kilos. That's pretty good, isn't it? Right, let's find something heavier. A bigger car battery, 20 kilos, or 45 pounds. Oh, uh, right, let's see. moving at the top. Wait a minute. My, uh, my fastening on the roof's coming off. I'll better sort that out. Right, here it goes. Oop, I'll come this side so we might be able to see what's going on. Here we go. Look at that! Look at the power! Ooh. Look at that! Hmm. More weight. Now we've got an old knackered battery. Um, 25 kilos or 55 pounds. Let's set this up. Now, this could be interesting because this is heavy. Oop. Come down here. We should have a bit better hook. Right. Taking up the slack. Oh, wait a minute. You want to see this, don't you? Because you want to see it fall. No problem. That's good, isn't it? Soldering seems to work. The solder seems joint here seems to work quite well. But more surprisingly enough, the plastic handle hasn't broken off yet. Now, can I get any more weight on that? I think that's the heaviest thing I've got. Hmm. Let me have a look. It seems I don't have anything heavier in one single unit. I wonder if I could put two car batteries on. Let's try it. Now I don't know how this is going to work. I'm quite surprised the bungee cords haven't snapped yet. Shall we go? Two car batteries? Unbelievable! Listen to the tension on this. Now, we'll take these batteries off again. <laughs> off and wear them, but there's another battery down there. I'm running out of bungee straps. The, uh, I don't know. <laughs> 
I just noticed this now here. The, the handle's starting to deform. Look at it. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. The power of solder, eh? You can't believe it. Right, well. Hmm. See if I've got another bungee strap. Three car batteries. Will it will it work with three? Ooh. This is gonna be a decisive one. Take the weight. No way. No bloody way, look at that! Three car batteries on a handle and it hasn't even pulled out the joint yet so um, <clears throat> as you can probably understand I'm over the moon with that um, well, let's measure up the com combined weight of those batteries now because I ain't got anything else I could put on there this cable now is completely knackered you could use like a piano couldn't you but it's good proof that soldering does work. So I've got all the batteries piled up on top of the scale. It's showing 140 pounds or 65 kilos. That weighs more than a young child. So, this solder joint works. That was brilliant. I don't know if you can focus in on that. Yeah. Doesn't look too tidy, but the solder has crept right inside and put good contact into there. Now, before, with a good pull, you could pull that damn thing off and pull the handle off. Hmm. Well, that's a good experiment. I like that. Bit of fun, wasn't it, for the afternoon? Hey, I tell you what, now, let's see that cable's knackered. Because look at it up there, it's all, it's all shot up there now. Let's see if we can solder this cable uh, like I told you, 